The world is in the midst of a technological revolution that is impacting how we educate our students, raising questions about what laws should affect technology, and is changing the delivery of legal services. The intersection of technology and law is radically evolving and shaping the new landscape for legal education and the practice of law. The last decade has shown that law schools really need to meet demand. And demand is not static. Demand changes in light of the new needs of the time. And it seems like in that same 10-year period, we've seen an acceleration in the kinds of changes that happen, not just in law, but in other professions. And so law schools need to stay innovative and need to stay current to meet that demand. Our goal is to train practice-ready lawyers, and that means lawyers who are practice-ready now and the future. Lawyers today need a broad skill set, and that means being able to be comfortable with technology so that they can confront new emerging legal issues created by technology and innovation. The programs, the platforms, the technologies are constantly evolving. So we need to make sure that our students are agile and able to adjust and adapt to the changes in the technology. So I think that the familiarity and determining what the purpose of the technology is and how it can actually be used to make them effective and efficient practitioners. Technology is impacting what lawyers do in two ways. First is how we practice law. Things that used to be done manually are now involving technology. And secondly, technology is impacting the substance of law. So there are many questions being raised about the use of technology that lawyers and judges and legislators are going to need to answer. So it's so important for law professors to keep up on emerging technologies. We have to prepare our students to practice law using new technology and also understanding the legal issues arising from new technologies. But also, law professors write articles and give speeches that help judges and legislators understand what maybe the answers should be from the new questions being raised by emerging technologies. One of the courses that I teach here is advanced legal research, and one of our big goals is to make sure that the students are able to effectively and efficiently perform legal research out in the real world. To prepare them for this, we like to have them perform a variety of exercises where we will ask them to think critically about the issues that need to be researched, and then we give them hands-on experience to the various platforms in order to conduct this legal research. Law schools today really need to be focused on what's happening out in the world, and that requires us to innovate our curriculums with things at the intersection of law and technology, blockchain and the law, cryptocurrencies and other financial instruments, things like robots and AI and how those things are changing the law in places like contracts and property. So we really need to be immersing ourselves in what's happening out in the real world so that we can bring those things into the law and figure out how to integrate those legal problems into our traditional doctrinal courses. Now more than ever, the lawyer and legally trained professionals are essential to our society to resolve legal issues, to regulate emerging technologies such as cryptocurrencies, to develop efficient energy solutions, and to create algorithms that determine access for everything from bail to criminal offenses to educational resources. Being an integral component in the transformation of our society, law-trained professionals are more important now than ever. Legal education needs to be more efficient and accessible, and Seton Hall Law is employing technology to facilitate access to its innovative legal degrees. Seton Hall Law School offers two degrees. One is the JD for those who aspire to practice law or think they need the legal education to advance in their careers. And the second is a, a master's degree, a 30 credit degree for non-lawyers who are working in areas that are highly regulated where they'll be really helped by the legal knowledge, such as compliance or risk management. When one is practicing as a lawyer, they sometimes encounter unforeseen developments, either technological or other sorts of innovations, and they might feel the need to re-educate themselves or do a deeper dive as to those subjects. And for those folks, we offer graduate certificates that allow them to do discrete research on particular concentrations like data privacy or cybersecurity or 
medical devices. And those can be done in a fairly compact way online. We have a weekend program whereby students attend law school for eight weekends a semester, doing online activities and studying in between. And it has been tremendously a successful opportunity for mid-career professionals who would otherwise have no option for pursuing a law degree. And we're very proud of that degree and it's been very successful. Students come with aspirations that we um, want to know and understand and help the students choose the pathway that will enable them to fulfill their dreams. Other students come and find a new dream when they get here. We want to know that and make sure that they land in the place that is fulfilling to them and will make them happy lawyers. To learn more about Seton Hall Law and how we are the lead provider for those working in highly regulated industries that require cross-pollination of skills and knowledge, visit us online at law.shu.edu.